This video is brought to you by BoardGamePrices.com. Find the best prices for board games at BoardGamePrices.com. Kia ora koutou, and welcome to Star Realms in about 3 minutes. Note this also covers Colony War and Frontiers. It is a game for 1-6 to six players. It has a solo mode, playing times around 10 minutes per player. It's a relatively simple game. The galaxy is there for the taking. You are a would-be emperor trying to marshal the forces of the Trade Federation, Star Empire, Machine Cult, and the dreaded Blobs into an awesome fighting machine. Will you have the authority to claim the galaxy, or will swarms of enemy ships smash you to pieces? In a normal game, you win if you have the last player remaining. This game can be played competitively, cooperatively, or in teams. Player elimination. When you run out of authority, you are eliminated. Deck building. You start with a basic deck and improve it during play. Player turn. At the start of the game, you will have a basic deck of 10 cards. Two of these are Vipers with one damage, and the other eight are Scouts with one gold. You also normally start with 50 authority. You can track this using one of these systems. Reduce your authority for each damage played by your opponent. You will have a hand of five cards, and on your turn you can play them in any order. Each gold and damage enters a pool, and you can split their use as you see fit. To improve your deck, you will need to spend gold and there are always 5 face-up available cards for purchase. These cost the amount shown in their top right corner in gold. We buy the Imperial Fighter and immediately replace it in the purchase row. This reveals an Imperial Frigate, and as we still have 3 gold to spend, we buy that as well. All ship cards played and purchased this round go into your discard pile, and you redraw to 5 cards. Once your draw pile is empty, you reshuffle it to make a new deck to draw from. In addition to the 5 face-up cards for purchase, there are always explorers you can buy as well. Most cards are ships, but the horizontal ones are stations. They stay in play until they are destroyed. Ones with black shields in their bottom right also screen you from damage, and your opponent has to destroy them first. Ones with white shields do not block damage, but still can be destroyed. Once you have more advanced cards, combos and advanced actions can take place. We play these three cards first. Each card plays its top power, for example, gain 4 authority and 2 gold. But note the faction symbol in the top left. Because we have multiple cards from the same faction, they can activate these powers as well, but only on cards matching that faction. Finally, some cards have this symbol, which means you can remove the card from your deck to use that power. Why would you like this game? Star Realms, in all its versions, is an excellent deck building game that crams a lot of decisions and fun into a very short time frame. It's also pretty easy to teach and has simple core rules. The four factions are quite distinct, with red being all about tough bases and trimming weak cards from your deck, yellow about drawing cards and making your opponent discard, blue focuses on money and regaining authority, and green is all about the damage. And that leads to the core fun of this game, deciding how to build your deck and what combos to include as the game evolves. And the game constantly accelerates. You go from doing one damage in the first few turns to 20 or more later in the game. The best thing about this game is it captures the feeling of playing casual Magic the Gathering without the pressure to spend more money. However, you are at the mercy of what cards are face up on the table when your turn comes around. If you really want more blue and yellow cards and the table is all green, too bad! And the authority cards in the original Star Realms are just a pain to use. There's a bunch of different expansions and versions, which could be confusing, and I recommend getting Frontiers first if you want to play with groups. And if you don't like the theme, Hero Realms and Cthulhu Realms use the same core system. And for a more complex deck builder, try Aeon's End. Star Realms! Just don't burn out on the app. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.